guys what's going on it's me again i'm just waking up it's around eight in the morning i was not gonna make a video of this but i so when i share this place with you guys it's so cool and i had a really good night so let me tell you all about it if you're someone who likes to camp and is always looking for places to stay the night you need to watch this video so i'm gonna get up brush my teeth put some clothes on and we're gonna go around and explore this place together wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 yeah this is where i spend the night you guys it was very comfortable i slept probably 12 hours <laughs> i went to bed uh right at sunset and I'm up now, it's like 8 in the morning. I only set up my tent to use it as storage. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I slept in the car. Nice and comfy. Before we get going, I need to get a little snack because I'm going to be taking a little hike. They told me there's a lot of hiking trails around here. So we're gonna go explore a little bit. I didn't get to do that last night because I was very hungry and I just wanted to have a glass of wine and see the sunset and then went to sleep. So we're gonna explore this morning. We have to check out at 12, so we still have a few hours. So this is a Sunday morning. It is April 2nd of 2023. And as you can see, the campground is not even at half capacity. There's a lot of spots available, which I find very weird because everywhere else was booked, like fully booked. As you can see, there's also spots for RVs over there. Oh, and that over there, that's the border. Mexico's on the other side of that fence. Looks like a hiking trail. I wonder where this is going to take us to. So yesterday I was just kind of being spontaneous. I didn't really have a plan. I was looking for a place to spend the night. And of course, everything's booked. Everything's full. Most of the places are overpriced. And uh, I found this one. I only paid $24 for the night. It comes with uh, showers, restrooms, picnic tables, fire pits, and uh, it's very peaceful, it's beautiful, the views, oh my god, you guys, I had the most peaceful night. I went to bed right after sunset, I had a few glasses of wine, I was very relaxed, and uh, I was proud of myself for being able to get the fire going, I thought I was not going to be able to, but I was able to do it, and it was just a great night, and I woke up around 7.30, and uh here i am let's see what's over here there's like three ways that you could go but i think i want to go this way we are so close to the beach but i don't know if this trail is gonna take me there i was looking at the map and i don't see a way to get to the beach from this point so i'm gonna go back because <laughs> i see a lot of paws on the floor and i don't know if they are somebody's pet or some kind of wildlife that i'm not ready to encounter so i better get back also last night when i was uh having my little wine i could hear like coyotes or some type of wild animal but Anyway, we're gonna go back to the campground and I'm gonna show you the amenities, restrooms, and that good stuff. Okay, let's go back there. Bro, I just got a text message from uh, T-Mobile telling me, welcome to Mexico. I wonder if I crossed the border and I didn't even know. <laughs> That's how close we are, oh my God. Look, the border is right behind me. All 
right guys so i just learned what those things are they are called yurts that's what they told me and uh the blue ones and the green ones can fit up to six people and you only pay sixty dollars a night isn't that something like i'm coming back and i'm staying in one of those for sixty dollars if anybody wants to join me let me know that's gonna be fun so i just asked the ranger why this place is not packed because it's beautiful it's not expensive and uh it's just everything you need and she said that uh, they're still new it's still kind of a hidden gem so it's only like two years old so it's probably gonna get more popular but right now you guys this is the place to to be <laughs> so tijuana river valley regional park oh i forgot to show you the showers and the restrooms we'll do that when i get back i'm gonna take a little hike across the street we'll see what we find oh also i asked them about the beach is there any trails that lead you to the beach they said yes but right now because there's a lot of flooding going on you know you cannot access the beach but normally yes they do have trails that take you there this morning but that's the ocean over there oh this view is something see we're staying down there that's my car right there wow remember earlier in this video that I wanted to make it to the beach <laughs> oh my god that's a long distance from where I was it would be easier to make it to Mexico <laughs> than to make it to the beach from where I was well if you guys make it out here I definitely recommend you to take this hike you guys just saw it the views are incredible and it's just beautiful so yes it's 10 uh, in the morning and I have to check out at 12 so I still have some time to make some breakfast, shower, and get on the road. So let's go make some breakfast. So to use the showers and the restrooms, well, I think this is for the showers. They give you tokens. Well, you buy them, a dollar each. And each token gets you 16 minutes of water. So yeah, I got to. Super clean. guys it's time to head out if you found this video helpful or at least entertaining give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't because i have more adventures coming up and i want you to join me all right this is it for today thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye